Welcome back. You know, it's a three-day weekend filled with something everybody loves, Michelle. Yeah. Good food. Yes, we're talking about the 2023 Grand Rapids Foodie Fest featuring food, drink, music, merchants, a whole lot more. We've got Amanda Had with us, a co-founder and organizer of the event. She brought some goodies for us. Good morning. Hi, Thanks for being here. And Good thank morning. you. Thank yes. you for organizing no, a foodie fest. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Everybody needs it. Yeah. So I'm happy to provide it. Well, we're, we're <laughs> glad to have you. This is your second year. Tell us all about this and the inspiration from you to, to bring this to Grand Rapids. Yeah. Um, so I just feel like we get a lot of traction about like the taste of Chicago. We get a lot of people saying, oh, like I want to travel out of the town for three hours or two hours to get something that we can have right here. So I was like, we can do this here. Um, it's a, just a great way to give more exposure and opportunity to local business owners, especially food entrepreneurs, um, because not everyone has a food truck. So this is an, a way for you to participate without having the food truck. There's not much of a constraint. So we just go down there, have live entertainment all weekend with local artists. We have like a beer garden and then just a whole bunch of food all around on the plaza. Oh, we're going to dive into that. that yeah. what, let's define a whole bunch of food. <laughs> so what, what can we expect? How many different types and how many different vendors? Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of different cuisines. We have um, 16 food booths and 12 food trucks. Yes. So it ranges from barbecue to tacos to pina coladas. <laughs> um, we got all different types of desserts. We got some uh, like guacamole vendor and I had it before and it's, it's to die for. So I'm mm. really looking forward to that. Seafood boils, um, Jamaican food, it, it really, you know, we got, we got all the bases covered here. Yeah. No matter what you want. No matter what you want. So dessert talk a little. Too. Yeah, I was going to say, let's talk about dessert and, and what these little cakes are. This is a new business in Kentwood, right? Yeah, so this is Quakes Bar Bake. So they are celebrating their one month anniversary oh, today. Wow. So they opened up right next to Long John Silver's in that little strip mall. Um, they So they do a lot of signature things, but they have like a spin on dessert bars. So they have like a signature bar, which is like a double stack with frosting. And then these are the bar bakes. So they just have like a range of flavors going from a, a puppy chow, scotcheroo spin around, and then they have like mint brownies. So it's just like a fun little dessert bar with like a flavorful frosting on top. Just enough. Just enough. There yep. you go. Uh, maybe for you. I'm taking four of these. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you can try more flavors, right? Just enough to try them all. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. And you mentioned there's going to be more than just the food there as well. What about uh, for the kids? Uh, obviously, yep. we want to bring the families out. Yep. So we have face painting. We have henna designs. We have some um, fun games. We have people selling accessories that are for kids, too, like earrings, glasses, clothing. we got a couple of different clothing vendors and... Then we got some, you know, sponsors out there with some fun free giveaways, photo opportunities. Got a, a, a backdrop with for photos. Wonderful. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. All right, and tell us a little bit about the entertainment too. What pe people can see on stage. Yeah, so we have bands all three days. Um, we have just so we st we're starting out with like a 50s, 60s Motown on Friday. Fun. Then we have. Um, Jazz Saturday night, and we have like another band Sunday. We have a few artists performing earlier in the day on Saturday, and we have Mika's Dance Studio. So it's like a big team of oh. girls that are all ages that come out and they just have like a choreography dance. So that's going to be really good, and that goes on at four o'clock. Perfect. And uh, you, you mentioned pina coladas, so uh, I'm assuming there are some adult beverages on there site are. here. These ones are not adult, though. This these one's are, not adult. These right. Are virgin. But we do have but a beer garden, so there'll be delicious. different flavors of beer. Excellent. <laughs> no, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying, if, if some folks want a nice cold brew when they're out yeah. having that at the Foodie Fest, everybody's to barbecue with those yeah. tacos or whatever we're having. Yeah. We got them covered. We got yeah. them covered at the Foodie Fest. And, and, and it's perfect timing, too, because yeah. if people want to catch the fireworks, they're Saturday night. Yeah. This is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Tell yep. us about the details. People know the hours and, yep. and where they can find you. Okay, so we're going to be down at the Calder Plaza um, Friday, June 30th from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. We got Saturday, July 1st, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And then the fireworks also go on at 11. And then we're going to be there Sunday, July uh, 2nd, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. So come on down and, and come see us and get a taste of everything we offer. Foodie Fest and the fireworks, hungry. right? Yeah, Foodie I know. Fest. That's perfect. perfect. Yeah. All right, Amanda, thank you so much yeah. for being here. Everybody awesome. get downtown and come hungry. All right, we'll Thanks be right back. <laughs>